Yo, what's up guys? So in this video we're going to talk about how much I made in 2019 with Merch by Amazon. Alright guys, yo, what's going on? What's up? So, we are in the back end of the computer. Merch by Amazon account. Um, this right here, this dashboard right here is either pretty merch, so it makes it look nice and pretty. Um, yeah, you guys can see, as you guys can see right here, um, yeah, I have 39,000 live listings. Okay, I'm at tier 40K, waiting to be tiered up to, I believe it's 50K or 60K next. So I have the numbers there and everything so i just yeah it's everything's there everything's there everything's looking good and um as you guys can see um sales are they're still there they're still there they're picking back up going into february so everything's looking pretty good and of course um let's go ahead and just, let's get into the the breakdown of the numbers for the 2019 Pull out, have my little calculator out down here already and we're going to kind of just go through it all and uh show you guys all the fun stuff and how much we made in 2019 we're gonna look over everything i'm gonna show you guys the back end of my ams account um if you guys are unaware i think last year too the ams it switched so i had my first ams account that was crushing it it was killing it, it was kicking kicking butt and it just they ended up switching over the stuff they did all this switch around let it let this load up guys the screams loading I'll tell you the story real fast it was the ams account ended up um Basically, they switched over. I, I believe it was last year, or it might have been the, the end of 2018. And I was crushing it with that account. I had one ad, just like doing a killer A cost and a very minimal spent. It was like I only spent like 100 bucks, and I had like 5,000 dollars in sales or something crazy like that with the AMS. So I understand AMS, guys. I'm pretty decent, I guess. <laughs> and also, too, guys, it all comes down about it all comes down to testing and uh, like the niche and all that stuff and the competition in there and of course being the best design in that niche so because um, you guys want to be the best at everything you do right and that's that, that creates less competition for you guys too as well in the uh, in the long run um so as this loads up loading loading hello you want to load want to load load okay there it goes all right so cool it wanted to load finally so let's doo -doo, go down to right here all right so so product sold 1259 uh, that's so this so this january 19th right here i mean not january 19th, january 2019 okay so we're gonna start from here and then work our way down and uh yeah so 2959 right 2959 February, 4,076, 4,076, 2,000, four, 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 plus two, two, four. Adding it up for you guys. Boom, boom, boom. And we'll kind of get to an overview of all this after we get this bad boy all added up. You can see, you guys can see that increase. See how it drops down in July and then it goes shoop and it starts to shoot back up. Um, yeah, one second. Where the heck was I? Okay, I was right here, here, and now here. Boom. Okay, so hit over 30000 dollars $33, for the year of 2019. My merch by Amazon account. You guys can see um you guys can see when I first started too as well. Right over here is kind of when I started to pay attention to it. This one right here, I was just basically just uploading stuff and see if it would sell. It wasn't even paying no attention to what I had. And then I was like, you know what? Let me just let me start over here. And then, <laughs> and then yeah, I started crushing it. As you can see, guys. Um, yeah, this, this year right here, 2019, 
Um, there was a lot of ups and downs uh, for this year of with merch by Amazon because they were like switching over the eight. They switched over the Asians in 2018 from I think it was like in November. And then you can see this dip right here. You can see like I lost a lot of my like, like a lot of my rankings and a lot of my shirts. Um, it kind of dipped down right there. And compared to this, we have about well, we have about four more days left, so it should be the best January that I've ever had uh, doing merch by Amazon. I find that pretty pretty weird because, well, obviously, too, I also have the most listings live ever as well, as you guys can see. Uh, there's a lot of ups and downs with the merch by Amazon, but I, honestly, like, I... I, I expect that with like with that because they're still a new platform and they're still growing and stuff like that. I, it's that right there. It's it, it can change that right there. The number amount right there can change someone's life. Okay, um, understanding that an extra thirty thousand dollars a month, a uh, thirty thousand dollars a year for someone is it can be life changing for some people. And um, the opportunity and the stuff that it's done for me and the, everything that I've done with Merch by Amazon and everything that I've helped other people do with Merch by Amazon. It's a really good feeling because this is what started it all. You know what I mean? So um, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, th this year going into it, it's 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 different. You guys can see like, so you compare it to January, so twenty nine fifty nine, right? And you compare it to this year, right? Look at I'm already at thirty two seventy three. You guys can see that I'm increasing prices. Okay, let me see. Go back to the twenty eighteen. Look at. You guys can see that I'm gonna beat that number. I should be. Yeah, I'm definitely going to beat that number. Um, but you can see like how these royalties, you can pair these royalties. Let that load up. You can see it's at four dollars, right? Four dollars royalty. Right. I need to, well, the goal is to get that royalty back up because that's I was crushing it at that time with the increasing the royalties. And now I'm doing it again because remember, like we're going through we're having ASIN changes and I was losing the ranking on Amazon. And I was spending AMS back then, too, but not as much. I was like spending a little bit and it was crushing it. And you can see with right here you can see compared to uh last year you can see that the royalty was way lower and you come over here to like i said the 2018 right eight eight hundred twenty seven sold look at four dollars royalty on average right so that's pretty crazy and then you come over here to right now compared to the royalty from uh 2019 here so 282 See, you can see that I'm increasing everything in the last seven days. You can the last seven days compared to this month. It's cut it off a little slow, but it's picking up. But um, I've been increasing the royalty on it pretty much everything. And you can see like this one right here. I can increase the royalty here, here, and everything is selling. I'm trying to put everything at $19.99, which is like a $5 royalty. And um, yeah, increasing it that way. And you can see we're going to go into the AMS right now as well. Because I want to show you guys that because... <clears throat> I mean, this is from the back end of the billing section over here. So this is the back end of the billing section. Let me refresh that for you guys. And I already pretty much did it all. So you go to, where the heck am I at? <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go, getting closer. So it was January, January 1st, 2019 to December 31st, 2019. Boom, apply. All right, so you guys can see. So, look at I only I barely ran any ads to this. So, and in 2019, uh, also too, you can see where the this is where the account switched over. So I'm pretty sure it's missing a few months. Um, but I I've killed the ads pretty much for the most part because it was getting me mad uh, for the whole year of 2019 because it was like a lot of changes are going on. I was like, dude, like what the heck's going on? I'm not sure what the heck they're doing. So, let's see. All right, so so we we do the configure like we do all the so we do everything we're getting so six months spent around three thousand let's say uh so six months spent around three thousand dollars and that's not including from the the January because that's all gone because they switched like I said they switched over account and messed up everything um, let's say it's just another another three thousand right so ended up let's say we'll ended up with the final total of. 
26 or 27,000, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, that right there with the ads and stuff. So it's just, just understanding that right there because ads play a role in this stuff. Um, but like you can see, like I kind of like right here, I was like, damn, I'm going to kill it, kill the ads. And the ads are part of the, like part of with Merch by Amazon. Like if you want to stand out, it seems it's being more of an ads game. Like you have to spin ads to make that first sell and um, not necessarily, I wouldn't say you have to, but I know a few people that are not spending ads and they're crushing it, but yeah, it, but like, if you want to get that sell faster, uh, putting money behind it, it's going to increase the sales. But also too, you guys got to understand it, it takes a lot of optimizing and stuff like that. Uh, it's very important that you guys understand that when it comes to ads, it's all about testing. And when you test, 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 um, you, even you start making sales and you start finding those long tail keywords that are converting really well for you. Um, it's gonna make the, it's gonna make all the difference in ranking uh, long term and consistently making sales. Okay, so it's uh, very important. Like the the main keywords that you're looking for are going to be uh, those long tail keywords. Okay, not the not 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 a very broad tail, not a broad keyword because that's gonna create more competition. Now, if you focus more on long tail keywords, that's where the money is. Okay, you're gonna make more money. Uh, if you focus on the long tail keywords because it's gonna be less competition for that keyword very important you hear that you hear that <laughs> so yeah it's very important that you guys understand that okay now with merch by Amazon too as well um, there's been the in 2019 the most updates ever okay and that's pretty awesome okay um, I in 2019 I was I'm gonna be say it one more time I was, little disappointed and I really didn't pay too much attention to it because it was getting me mad <laughs> so it's it's it has made like long term it's for the 2019 it has they pretty much updated us every single month and um, and how they're improving the platform and stuff like that and that's really cool I, when you see stuff like that that means it's a really good sign um, because updating keeping you up to date and you as a um, we you with your merch by Amazon account and and, and Amazon letting you know that, hey, the, or the Merch by Amazon team letting you know, like, hey, so we're coming out with this this month. Like, they're kind of keeping you updated, and that's pretty cool. And, um, yeah, that's 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 something that was really cool and that kind of stood out to me. And I, I appreciate that because they have never done that before in a way. Usually they get the update, like, once every three months, once every four months, once every five months, sometimes, like, two times a year. And But it this month, I mean, this year they did it every single every single month almost sometimes two times in a month so that's pretty cool also too a few months ago you can see uh, a few months ago uh i want to say for the month uh i mean was it october november they they updated the platform too if you guys didn't see that they updated like the, the back end and the algorithm basically and i'm sorry not the back end but the search on amazon and a lot of people were affected by that i'm not sure if you guys have noticed that bring that to your guys' attention um if you guys are like are new to the platform and you guys don't understand how the ranking works on Amazon, but it seems like they switched it back. Um, I talked about this in a previous video too, as well. It seems like they switched it back to the old algorithm. So it can, uh, I'm not sure. I'm just, I'm, if they switched it back to the old algorithm and I have no idea why, because I, I, I don't know, man. I just, I don't know. I feel like they feel like that old older algorithm was making more sales for them or, or I'm not sure exactly what the customer was liking it better. Like they're, customers finding stuff more easier that's what i'm assuming and so they switched it back and you can see that it was just yeah they switched it back and a lot of people were were, were like the exact phrases and like in the titles and stuff like that a lot of people um were just putting like a lot of keywords in the title instead of putting keyword keyword shirt or key, like the keyword keyword product name they would they would uh they just put keyword 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 throughout the title instead of putting because you know that it adds it at the end but it seems like Amazon was ranking more for the actual phrase itself instead of keyword, 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 and then putting uh, Amazon will automatically put that uh, the product name at the end, which would be like long sleeve sweatshirt or yeah sweatshirt pullover hoodie stuff like that. So I found that pretty interesting. Uh, I was trying to figure out like what the heck, uh, what's going on, and then I was like, you know what, let me test this out, and it started working. So I started converting, like started making sales faster. Also, to this year, guys, I am, I am going instead of doing that 1307, the, that get that first sale and rank to the competition. I'm going straight to 1999 with my standard T-shirts, trying to just aim for the five dollar royalty, uh, because the reason being was kind of. 
1307 was kind of getting me mad. And if I'm going to be running AMS, AM, AM, AMS this year, ads, Amazon ads, I'm going straight for 1999. I feel like I'm saving myself some time and not trying to just get that first sale so I can rake on the platform, I believe. And then with them letting you have the product live for over a year on the on the platform, and, set, and when they take it, because instead of, they used to do it like, I think it was 90 days, and then the, if you didn't make a sale within 90 days to take the product down, now it's a full year. So now if doing that right there, I'm just gonna go straight to 1999 and um, with the standard t-shirts and run some ads to them and try to get that first sale, you know what I mean? And also to focus, like I said, focusing on that long tail keyword and growing out the niches that I'm in right now. Um, now, if you guys are a beginner and you guys are first time watching this, welcome. My name is RJ Martinez. <laughs> it's important that you guys understand that when it comes to Merch by Amazon, there's going to be a lot of competition, a lot of competition. Um, um, it's the cool thing to put a, a, sh uh, a design on a shirt and watch people buy and then watch people wear it. You know what I mean? Watch watch people wear your shirt. That's a It's a cool thing. You know what I mean? So that is like the trend right now. Like it's it's easy to do, right? So there's going to be a lot of competition. If it's easy to do, there's going to be a lot of competition. And that's just normal. Okay, there's, there's nothing bad about it at all. Just normal. It's the way life is. <laughs> you know, if it's easy, everyone's gonna do it. Um, so, with Merch by Amazon, the, one of your main focuses is that long. One of your main focuses is that long tail keyword. Very important that you guys understand that long tail keywords are the money makers. Okay, they make the most money for you. Okay, you can be and also focusing on the niches with less competition because if you hit a niche and you find a, if you have a long tail keyword and you hit a niche and you're like. And it's a good design. Um, I'm not sure how you can define a good design because simple designs sell, good designs sell, bad designs sell. Uh, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> if you have that long tail keyword and you start ranking for it, the chances of you getting a sell is, is going to be really, really good. So you got to understand that long tail keywords are the money makers. And if you make a consistent sell with one shirt, every week or two times a week, three times a week. And then next thing you know, you do that with four or five or six or seven or eight other shirts. It's gonna consistently make sales over and over and over and over and over and over. And then you start getting reviews, right? And you start getting reviews and that turns into your moneymaker shirt. And then you repeat the process with every single other design that you upload to Merch by Amazon, okay? Um, whatever whatever product you're putting it onto as well, um, that, that that as well right there too. Um, as you can see too, I, I didn't know if, I, if you guys haven't watched any of my previous videos, but look at that, boom! That's 115, 115K, that's crazy, huh? Over 100K in royalties already, so um, see if we can get that bad boy up to over 200K by the end of the year. Um, like I said, by me focusing on uh, <clears throat> higher ro royalties, instead of low low balling at the uh, cost at 1307, I think it is with standard t-shirts. And I know a lot of people are not a big fan of that, but it used to work and I'm just trying to get out of my old ways of doing that. And I think I think the 1999 will still work at the, get the first sale still if I run AMS to it. Now, for the more advanced people, I, I feel like, like most of us, I don't know, I feel like, no, I want to say most of us. I'm gonna say me, me as an individual. Like I'm trying to get out of that 1309 mindset and uh, trying to push to the straight 19.99, 20 dollars. You know what I mean? So, I think that with us, like more of the intermediate people, like have been on the platform platform for a while. I think we we need to focus. Like if we have a niche that's crushing it, we need to like fatten that niche and make it bigger. You know what I mean? Because it's it's doing good. You have good designs. And they're obviously because it's converting right consistently converting over and over and over just grow that niche out right you know make it make it make that niche better than what it is you give them when they click through the brand they want to buy one or two shirts make them buy three or four shirts because all the designs are so cool you know so um and then also too there's there's stuff that's selling out there that's it's crazy like stuff that you won't even think people are buying online well they can't buy it in store they want to go online and buy it so something to think about right there because, and then also to those long tail keywords. I think those long tail keywords apply to us too. They uh, they convert really well and then that's that's the money maker right there. So very important that uh, we understand that and um, try to convert for those long tail keywords so we can uh, get them sales, baby. You know, so it's uh, it's, a, it's important that we understand that. And I think it just, uh, it's a great opportunity. Merch by Amazon is a really great opportunity. 
Um, you can see how long I have my account and you can see what I've done, how many people I helped. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. And uh, it's, I don't know, it's an amazing opportunity and it's, it's, it's fun. It's fun, you know what I mean? Because you can create content around it like I have and uh, help hundreds of people out. So yeah, and also too, like as you guys can see, I'm off to a really good start. And uh, yeah, um, hopefully this video kind of gives you guys some inspiration and you guys can see of like the breakdown and everything. I just want to bring this guys to your guys' attention, see the breakdown, see the opportunity. Um, yeah, and it's pretty cool. Also too, I've been working a lot with uh, uh, KDP. February should be like a really amazing month with over there too as well. Uh, and if you guys are unaware, if you guys are unaware, I've started Pixel Pod Studio. I'm gonna have that down below in the description. Um, check that out. That right there is going to be basically pre-made designs. Um, you guys can go ahead and sign up for that. Check that out. We've really awesome. Also too, guys, um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of KDP this year. Um, February should be a really, really amazing month. It's uh, it's doing really well right now, and going into February, it just it's it's picking up everything. It was a little slow this month, a little bit, but now it's it's picking up again as of this morning. It's doing really well. And um, if you guys have haven't heard about Pixel Pod Studio, I'm gonna have that down below in the description, guys. Check that out. Um, basically, we're making pre-made interiors that can, are customizable and we're going to be teaching you guys how to do that um it's like i said down it's going to be down below in the description um it's uh it's a really amazing opportunity right now with kdp um it's honestly it's like merch by amazon two years ago um when there was like barely any competition at all and i think honestly right now the opportunity is to it's to get in there and be different from everybody and uh being really unique is really key to making sales on KDP <laughs> so and now uh, yeah we're going over like the process of how to customize the interior and then so that's a big one right there guys a really really big one so um, check it out down below in the description like I said before um, you guys have any questions at all please comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe peace out guys